This is the first exhibition I've made since lockdown of new work. The work in this show, which has uh, several different materials, is all about color, surface, and shape. So made of this is the group of ceramic works which I started remaking again after a three-year gap. Made of this, uh, the title actually comes from a eurythmic song, uh, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This. They are rather succulent. A lot of the ceramics uh, I've made hasn't been quite so uh, delicious, as it were, so sweet. Uh, like all ceramics, you never know what you're going to get until you get it. You put a glaze on and you put it in the kiln, you don't really know what's going to happen. I'm fairly specific about what I make things out of uh, and I'm interested in the material qualities of stuff. Then, uh, you know, it brings that into play as well. The works have this rocking relationship to the, to the ground, the, as do tread, the small steel works. I mean, I've made things that rock before, but I got very interested in the way that these small objects sat on the ground and were kind of de were slightly detached from uh, the ground. And tread, I think they're a bit like shoes. I have put them straight on the floor. Uh, and that's not quite right. If you put them too high, then I think the base underneath becomes a bit too uh, emphatic. The height is intended for you to look down on them from above, uh, and, but I mean, as I'm sitting now and I can see across, you can see this kind of tip-topping. Under the Weather is the oldest work in the show. And uh, uh, this was made in 2017, in fact. So it predates most of the other works by quite considerable amount. Though under the weather feels quite like a good description of the things we've been through. I find it quite interesting in its particular location here that you can see the fountain outside through the work and there is a kind of, there is a certain sort of um, unanticipated um, relationship between that fountain and the work. Some of the time, when you're making work, the things connect together. To my mind, it seemed to work quite well with the idea that this group of works uh, explored some areas which I hadn't explored before, notably these uh, things behind me and the, uh, the steel works. Again, there's some connection between the way the steel is treated, the way that the surface is treated on the ceramic works, uh, and the way that the patterns appear on these uh, textile works, you know, they, they, they're in conversation with each other. A lot of the drawings that I was doing seemed to involve a transition between materials and between uh, things. And then I began looking for other surfaces to draw on. Uh, and it occurred to me that I was interested to try drawing on a screen. And drawing, in part, uh, is a bit about finding a surface you want to draw on and a thing you want to draw with. I'm not very keen on the process of what happens when you print on paper uh, a digital image. It's very flat. I found a, uh, uh, a photograph that had been transferred onto a, uh, into a woven image. I thought that might be interesting to explore if I could treat the digital images in the same way, because that would bring it back into a... Um, uh, it had a texture to the surface. I've also been thinking about colour. Uh, on the surface of stainless steel. So there are works which have a coloured interior or a coloured exterior. Probably because I was working in print. I mean, I think that's where the connection would come. That maybe if you put the colour on and took it off, that could, uh, that could give you a, an interesting surface. The amount of colour you see changes according to your, uh, your position in it. The Painting isn't doing anything to protect the surface. It's stainless steel, it doesn't need to. But we're putting a pattern on the surface which introduces a colour and I suppose it identifies them individually. The surface had become an important issue. 
the exhibition title Tread uh, uh, does relate to a, uh, a specific group of works. It also seemed to be a good title for the exhibition as a whole, uh, in that it implied a, a, a step as well as a pattern. And it also kind of suggests stepping out. Uh, the thing about titles, it needs to both say something about the work, but also to uh, um, leave things open.